Hello class. I'm going to try this process and see how well this works. I'd like to do a little bit of an explanation of what enzymes are and what they do. And so I'm going to begin by writing just a generic chemical reaction. I'm going to say we have compound A. We're going to add that to compound B. And that chemical reaction represented by this arrow is going to give us a product that I'm going to call C. So this is a chemical reaction. The letters A and B would be considered reactants, and letter C would be our product. What an enzyme will do, is we can add an enzyme to this chemical reaction to whoosh, get that reaction to go and give us product. All biological reactions require the addition of an enzyme in order to get the reactants to actually react and give us product. So when we have an enzyme involved, and I'm just going to sketch an enzyme out here real quick. When we have an enzyme involved, we actually call those reactants substrates instead of referring to them as reactants. So they're really the same thing as reactants, but substrates are whatever the enzyme is working on. So this is my enzyme here. And enzymes are made of protein, so they have a very particular shape. And what you see here, these depressions on the surface of this enzyme that I've drawn, these are actually called active sites. And it's the active sites that our sub substrates will bind. They will bind to these active sites. So I'm going to draw substrate A here, substrate B here. And when they fit, the fit isn't exact. We, what we're going to have is an induced fit, which means when those substrates bind to those active sites, that will initiate a conformational shape change in this enzyme. And it will squeeze and press in on those substrates, straining those substrates, breaking chemical bonds, initiating the formation of new chemical bonds, so that when we're finished, we get product. And so it ends up being released going to be something else, a combination of these two somehow, and that's product. So sometimes enzymes will put things together like I've shown you here, but sometimes enzymes will actually split things apart like what we did in lab this week.